Hello, welcome to the channel and welcome back to Resurrect Autos HQ. So today guys, we are going to be continuing with the Peugeot 207. Um, I have got the, the door lock now uh, mechanism for the driver's side and hopefully once we change it, when you shut the door, it won't lock automatically on its own after you've shut the door. Um, a lot of people said that this was the cause of the problem. I'm hoping it is. Um, I want to do a service as well. I want to try and get the MOT done. And also today, guys, I've got another customer, one of my subscribers. He um, messaged me and said he's got a, a rattling, banging noise coming from his Nissan Duke. So that's going to come today. Um, and then we can investigate what is going on there as well. So a very busy day today. So let's get cracking. Let's do this. Right, guys, I have the Peugeot 207 in the workshop. Um, so yeah, I want to crack on with this today. Just this morning, um, I'm going to see if that door locks work. Because I've got one. It's over here. So I ordered one um, in. I'm going to swap this over. And we're going to see if this solves our problem. Um, also, I've got some uh, service parts as well, not just for this car, um, for all bit, other, dip, other cars and bits and pieces. But we're going to see if it solves this problem. It locks on its own when <laughs> you shut the door. So, yeah, we're going to see if this is going to actually do it. First thing, so I'm going to set you up. Let's get this stripped down. Get it off, swap it over, and check it. Hopefully, fingers crossed, that's it, um, and it's going to get sorted. Once we, if we get this sorted, <laughs> once we get this done, we're going to move on. I'm going to take it over onto the ramp, and we're going to do a quick service on it, and then an MOT check. I'm going to book it for an MOT for later, um, and we're just going to see you know, what time I can get that done. It needs a good clean. The seats need a good clean. Um, it just needs a good sort out after we've done the service and this door. Because we've done the other side. The glass is absolutely spot on. That's perfect. That's in place and solid. Uh, uh, the adhesive itself, um, it's probably been uh, sort of on there now for about four days. So it's definitely gone off. The trim as well, I've stuck on. Um, and got some um, new uh, tabs to, to, st to stick the trim on as well. So that's on. Looks so much better. Just finishes it off, doesn't it? Um, and it just needs a good clean inside and out. And hopefully, MOT, no advisories. That is what I'm looking for. That's what I want. Uh, but I don't know until we run it in and see what happens with that. That's later. <clears throat> But for now, let's crack on and get this door lock to see if we can resolve this problem of it locking on itself. So I'll set you up, guys. Let's do this. Right, okay guys, <laughs> already there's a problem. Um, <laughs> hopefully it's not going to be a big issue and we still can use this, but can anyone see the difference in these two? Yep, look at the difference in the two wires on this side. That side, exactly the same spot on. This side is different. So I've got to check to see if the listing stated that this was a free door lock 
and not a five door lock because I think the five door doors are smaller. Um, they normally are, in they, to allow for that. So they shrink the, they, they normally shrink the driver's door a little bit to allow for a back door to open. Um, so, but I think if I undo these little casings here. I'm hoping that it's going to be something like this where I can just pop it out, swap them over and pop them back in again and that's it. Hopefully, that's what I'm hoping, but I haven't taken it apart yet. So, yeah, but I already got stumped and <laughs> hit a brick wall. I did actually put it in as it was. I put it in and I thought, and I grabbed this bit and I thought, hold on a minute, it only got to here. <laughs> and I thought, hold on a minute, that's not going to work. So I take it back out again. And then that's why I kind of started to work out what had gone wrong. So yeah, definitely, definitely that lock has come from a five door, not a three door. But I've got to check the listing to see if they've, if they've stated that. I'm not sure. But it doesn't matter. If we can swap it over, then jobs are good. Um, it's just whether or not we can swap it over. I'm hoping we can. Um, I'm assuming we can because obviously the handle... It's just on a pulley, so as you pull it, it just pulls pulls the cable backs and forwards. So, yeah. But um, let's get set up. I'll try and strip this down a little bit, see if I can swap it over. It should, hopefully, fingers crossed, just a quick swap, put it back in, and then we're good to go. So, let's, uh, yeah, let's see if it works. Let's do this. Right, okay guys, so after a little bit of flaffing when it comes to that cable, um, it did what I was hoping it would happen. There was just literally like a little little uh, cable there. You just flick it underneath, flick it up, and then that's it. You just swap it over. So I've done that, swapped it over, and um, tried the actual door itself. So... Let me show you. It doesn't do it. <laughs> so it looks like that lock was the actual culprit. Um, and quite a few people were saying that to begin with. So, yeah, good guess. Whoever guessed that it was the lock. Because um, <laughs> you never know, really. Let's be honest. So, yeah, locks... Unlocks, opens, and doesn't lock on its own. So, absolute result. I think it was like 35, 38 quid for that lock. And that's just solved the problem that we had with that. It's just one less thing, you know what I mean? I've got to sort of 
explain to someone <laughs> it's not great that the door is locking on its own um and it was it could be something to do with the accident not accident but the glass smashing did someone um you know have their keys in the car they've shut the door and then it's gone and they thought oh no my keys are in the car i'm gonna get my keys out i know what i do i'll smash a window um so I don't know, you know what I mean? Only the only the previous owner would ever know that, but I'm just guessing. But at least we're getting it sorted. So the glass is done. That's all sorted. Um, we've done the lock. Just got to put the door card back on. So we'll do that now. Put it all back together. It's all the bits and pieces in there. And then we're going to move, t turn our attention to the engine. So oil change, oil filter, air filter, um, and then... We're going to give it a good clean uh, all around the car. So let's continue. We're going to do this door card now, and then I'll move it over and then start the service. Um, after we've done this, we've got a little interesting um, car. I told you about the Nissan Juke. It's got a, it's got a massive, well, it's got a big, big rattling coming from the engine, and um, it, you know, it sounds really bad. So we're going to have a look at that one after we've done with this one but for now let's continue get the door card on then the service let's do this Right, okay, so guys, I've come across another issue with this car. Um, basically, it's not the end of the world, but the air filter is different. <laughs> different size that they have supplied me. Look how big, bigger this is here, look. It's never gonna fit, it don't fit. So that's gotta be changed um, and swapped over. But it's not the end of the world. It's just a filter, we can do that afterwards. So um, I've just dropped the oil, oil change on it as well. So we've done, I've just done that oil filter. So that's all been changed. Um, I've just got to top the oil up and then uh, go and get that filter and then that's it. It's uh, kind of gonna be ready um, for the MOT. I'm still doing checks, I'm still doing bits and pieces. Well, I didn't even notice this before. Look, this seems to be hanging off a little bit. So I've got to try and heat that up there and pull that out if I can. I don't think it's had a whack there. Nah. It must have had a whack at some point, I suppose, because it's gone in, isn't it? 
But yeah, I'm gonna have to heat it up and see if I can flick it back out. So yeah, let's do that now actually. Um, see if we can get that out, we should be able to. Right, let's continue, let's do this. Right, okay guys, so we are complete, apart from this one thing, which is the, um, in there, you've got um, cabin filter in there, I think there's two. Um, so I forgot them, but I'm gonna do them after the MOT. But apart from that, it's all been done. Um, air filter, I've changed the air filter for the right one this time. Um, when I got the other one, so yeah, that's the old one. So yeah, <clears throat> change that. Oil, oil done. I pulled this out as well, as you can see. Looking a lot, lot better. I think it's got a little slight bit here. I might make, have a go at it again, see if I can have another go. Um, but yeah, it's definitely um, looking um, a lot better on that corner anyway. Let me just turn this off for a minute because it is loud. Okay, the other thing I've got to do is I've got to reset the service light here. You've got, look, you see the spanner? So I've just got to reset that. But I've done the MOT checks um, as much as I can. I've looked it all over. So hopefully, fingers crossed, this goes through with no advisories and it's booked for two o'clock this afternoon. So I will let you guys know later what happens. But for now, Let's get this outside, um, and I want to bring in the Nissan Duke that um, one of my subscribers has bought to me to have a look at because it's making an absolute racket, and I think I've worked out where it's coming from and what we need to do. Um, there's a possibility that we this ain't going to work. Um, but I'm going to try and save it for him because um, it's a lot of money. If we have to replace this part on this car, he's just for the part, he's looking at £1,800. Um, so, yeah, let me get this out. I'll bring it in. I'll explain what's going on and I'll show you exactly what I think has happened. So bear with me, guys, and I'll see you in a minute. Right, okay guys, so the Peugeot 207 is outside, ready to go to the MOT centre in about an hour's time. So I bought in the next little job today. I say little, this could be a big, big job, but um, you know what I mean. So this is a 2014 Nissan Duke, and this is one of my subscribers' cars. Um, he's, you know, been watching me for a long time now, and um, he reached out to me and said, he, he don't live too far from me, but could I have a look at his car? Now, he said he wanted a service, because it ain't had a service for a little while. So I said, yeah, fine, I could do a service on it. Um, and he said, there's a rattling noise coming from the engine, but only when it's cold. When it warms up, it goes. So I said, right, okay, the only thing you could do is bring it down to me, let me have a look at it, I'll have a look around it, and I'll investigate to see if I can find out, you know, what is going on. So I'm going to let you listen to this noise, um, but I don't want to run it for too long, because at any point, this could get worse, and we don't want that for him. 
Um, I think I know what it is. Um, I've done a little bit of research into it. And um, the big thing about this, guys, let me show you. It's an automatic. Um, and, yeah, these do suffer from the automatic gearboxes. So let me just show you. So, on tick over, it's not that bad. Um, but as soon as you just give it a little bit of throttle, so I hope you can hear that noise. It's, I don't want to run it for too long. I want to stop it. It's only done 73,000 miles, but that... I'm literally touching the pedal, not even revving it hard. Literally, just giving it a few revs. I hope you can hear that. Now, these are prolifically bad these automatic gearboxes on these cars unfortunately they are um so i think that's what it is because i've just i've looked into it and it and it all the forums are saying it all online the videos on youtube everywhere is saying the same thing um and they're saying it's the lack of oil so first thing to check is oil leaks from the gearbox um now like i said to you guys i'm gonna try and save this for him because replacing these 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 gearboxes or you know whatever it's like 1800 quid it's a lot of money um to throw at this car if it goes wrong so yeah i've got my fingers crossed for him i really have so what i'm basically gonna say to him is listen let's just if there's a leak under there let's find out where it's coming from repair the leak a lot of people are saying online that the sump around the gear it automatic gearboxes that says a sump on there, they leak um, because the oil comes from uh, around the sump and then, and then that's what's causing the noise. Now he's told me, the owner, that this has been getting worse. Um, it started happening, he said, probably three or four months ago. Um, and it's been gradually, gradually getting worse and worse. So I'm assuming that he's probably lost a lot of gearbox oil and it's getting to a point now where it's really making a racket. Um, so I really hope we can sort this out for him. So let me set you up, guys. First thing to do is I want to jack the, the car up. We'll have a look underneath and investigate, you know, what is going on with that automatic gearbox. And there's a, I think a, you can take the sumps down because there's a filter underneath as well into the gearbox. So you can buy a kit. And I think these take about, I've looked into it, about five, five and a half litres of gearbox oil. It's a lot, it's a lot of oil. Um, so it'd be interesting to see if we have got a leak, how much we've lost um, from there, really. So let me set you up. Let's get cracking and find out what is going on. Right, okay, so guys, I've just done a little bit of investigation. Just done a look around, see if I can notice or see anything. Now, let me show you. It is leaking. That is definitely transmission oil. That's not engine oil. Um, so I thought, right, okay, where's it coming from? Um, 
it must be coming from the underneath of the sump um, on the gearbox or anything like that. So started having a look. It is completely dry. It, it's no leaks. It's really quite good underneath there. Um, I'm looking around and I'm thinking, what is going on here? There must be the transmission leak somewhere. And then I noticed that it's here. And at first I was thinking, that's just water in it. That's just water, excess water from when it's rained and it's just laying on there. It's not. That is all transmission oil and it's all dripping there. So I'm thinking, what? How the hell is transmission oil getting over this side when it should only be water because it's the water rad is there and the aircon rad. So I'm looking around, I'm thinking oh, it must be somewhere, it must be something coming from somewhere um, around near the gearbox. So I'm looking around, looking around, I've got up on my knees and I thought, hold on a minute. And saw all that mess. Look at this in there. Now, I've just done some more research and this part, this, this, this little rad here, that you can see, that is a transmission um, cooler, transmission cooler rad. Um, and it's something to do with the gearbox. And you can see someone has put cable ties on it as well. So something has gone on here. Something's happened. Um, and it seems to be, it must be spitting transmission oil from that somewhere. And whether or not it's coming from the actual connectors or it's coming from the actual cooler um, housing itself. But that's the issue. That's why... I think the gearbox is sounding the way it is because he's lost all the transmission fluid. <clears throat> now, this could have done some serious damage to the gearbox. And really, we don't know that until we take the complete front bumper off and have a look at that, um, at that uh, cooler housing thing there. We, we've got to take it completely off. To, 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 to dig a bit deeper. That's all we can do. That's all we can do. Um, so, yeah, basically, here we go. <laughs> I'm going to set you up. I'm going to strip off this bumper completely. We're going to have to take these arches off, take these little trims off for, for, the, for the bumper, disconnect it all. Um, we've done a few of these now. I've done two of two Nissan Dukes, so shouldn't really be a, a big issue, but... You never know <laughs> what's going to happen. So I'm going to set you up. Let's get this bumper off and just see what is going on. But that's definitely where it's coming from. You can see, actually, it's, it's here. That's not dirt. That's, that's the transmission spitting everywhere. So, yeah, let's get this bumper off, guys, because that's where the problem is. That is where it lies. <sighs> what a nightmare. Let's, um, yeah, let's get it off. Let's do this. Right, okay, so guys, there we go. Um, this looks like the culprit. Um, let me just run it. Let me see if it comes out. 
Hold on. can't quite see oh there definitely dripping from there it's definitely dripping from that point as well um, so but look at the state of it it's just a mess I'm gonna see how much these are because it does look like it's damaged there so I'm gonna see what, you know, the prices are for him. It looks like it's building up as well, so it's probably coming out of there. Yeah, it's definitely leaking from these pipes here, but I don't know if the actual cooler's damaged. So yeah, that's the problem. And it's just lost, probably lost a lot, a lot of transmission oil. So hopefully, if we just get this resolved and swapped over and cleaned up, fill up the transmission oil again um, to the point, you know, to the fill up point, and then hopefully, fingers crossed for him, that, that we've solved it. But um, yeah, it's incredible, isn't it? It's so messy and dirty. It's just everywhere. It's gone all over the metal here. Look at that, look what it's done to it. Hopefully, it's still dripping still dripping so that's not just the culprit on top of here as well there these are these are all le 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 look at look at the puddle of that is in there already look so that this is the problem this is that these hoses i think is the problem mainly but i don't know what damage it's done to this cooler so i'm gonna get some prices together for him and let's just see if we can't sort this out and deal it deal, deal with it for him um and get it get it sorted out and it's not going to be, you know, hopefully we've caught it. I think we have. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we've caught it for him. And the transmission gearbox is going to be all right. But um, it's definitely had some sort of um, repair job on this car at some point. Because you can see the overspray around the red, around the lights. That's that's overspray, that is. So some sort of damage has been happening here, done, done here. I don't want to go too deep for him really because that's not really what he was looking for he's not asking me to sort of check it all over but i just can't help it really because i've got to make sure that it's uh that it's safe do you know what i mean like it's okay um but yeah that is an issue so we've got to, have to replace those pipes and i think we're gonna to have to replace that cooler housing so I'll go and get some prices together. I'll contact him and then I'll come back to you guys and let you know what is going to happen and what we're doing. So bear with me and I'll see you in a bit. Right, okay guys, I am back from the MOT centre with the Peugeot 207. Um, so let me show you the results on this one. <clears throat> and as you can see, all passed with no advisories. So there we go. That is another one. MOT'd and completely done, apart from a clean. <laughs> it's absolutely filthy. So I'm going to give it a good clean inside and outside. And then that should be done. This car is finished. Uh, it go up for sale. The Nissan Juke, um, I'm still waiting for someone to give me, come back with some parts um, for prices. Uh, but it's just the, I don't, we don't want to go main dealer for this. It just, it's just ridiculously priced. So we need to try and get one uh, somewhere else. It, it, you know, I'll give him the, I'll give him the option. I'll give him the options because it's his car um, and it's up to him. At the end of the day, customer is always right. Um, so, but I just don't, you know, <clears throat> it's such a small little cooler, transmission cooler. You don't want to be sort of weighing out loads of money for it. Um, so fingers crossed, you know, we can find Sank to help him out. But for the moment, this is where we're at with this one. And I'm going to have to take it outside or leave it in here overnight. <clears throat> and then we'll see 
how quick we can get the parts, but it's not going to be, I don't think it's going to be a tomorrow jobby. Um, it might, this might have to stay like this for a couple of days, but I had to take the bumper off because I needed to see what was going on and what was happening with this. Um, and clearly, you know, we've got, an, we've got a bit of a problem. I'm going to probably change the hoses as well. Change the hoses, change the cooler and the transmission. There's like a drain plug from underneath and then there's a dipstick somewhere on top of the gearbox. Can't see anything at the minute, but yeah, I'll work it out, but we've definitely got to you know, get it all drained out <clears throat> and see if we can you know, work out the uh, the level for the gearbox. Um, you're spo I think you're supposed to take off the, the diffs and all that sort of stuff to really get all the, the uh, fluid out, but it's just so much money um, to do that. But um, yeah, that is where we are, guys. We are kind of stuck with this one at the minute, and I'm going to have to find um, <clears throat> some prices and how to do that for him, and I'll let him know um today tonight this afternoon um and we'll go from there but for now we are done another one finished and sorted um and i'm glad that this door lock is now working it just needs a good clean inside and out and that's it it can take some pictures and it go up for sale nice cheap little one around for someone just before christmas <laughs> so yeah that's it guys that's the end of today's video um and i'll see you guys in tomorrow's video i'll let you know tomorrow morning what we're going to do and we'll go from there and that's it so take care see you soon thanks for watching